Hello, I'm Dr. Partridge, and over the next 25 minutes, I'm going to walk you through how to use the Prismatic Game Kit, step by step. Throughout this tutorial, I'll show you examples of the Game Kit in action, and show you how you can customize each component. At its heart, the Game Kit is a collection of six common elements found in adventure-style 3D games. These are the scorekeeper, tokens, traps, puzzles, prizes, and final score reporting. The scorekeeper is an object worn by the player that keeps track of their progress in the game. When new players begin the game, you'll need to prompt them to accept a scorekeeper and wear that object as they play. Without wearing the object, the player won't be able to interact with the other game components. You can make any virtual object into a scorekeeper. Here's how. To begin working with the game kit, you'll need to pick up your own free copy. After you have one, check your inventory, recent items, for the folder. Open the folder and find the scorekeeper object. It has a number one in front of it. Drag the scorekeeper object from your inventory onto the ground in order to res it. It's small, so you may choose to zoom your camera to see it more clearly. Right-click on the scorekeeper, in this case it looks like a money bag, and choose Edit from the context menu. The Build dialog will appear. On the Build dialog, choose the Content tab. You'll find a script inside the contents of the scorekeeper. We want that script. It will be transferred into any object we want to turn into a scorekeeper. To make a copy of the script, simply drag the script from the Contents tab of the currently selected Scorekeeper object, that money bag. The script is called Scorehud V569. Don't worry if yours is called some number higher than 569. That just indicates the version number. As long as yours is the same or higher, you'll be fine. Dragging a script to your inventory will make a copy and you'll be able to move that copy into the contents tab of another object. Once you finish, you can delete the money bag. Next, right click on the ground and choose create. Left click on the ground. A simple pine box will appear where you clicked. Right click on the box you created and choose edit from the context menu. Move to the contents tab of the build dialog. Open your inventory and find the script you just copied. Drag the script from your inventory into the Contents tab of the Build dialog, then close the Build dialog and left-click on the Pine box. You'll see it now reports scores, just like the other Scorekeeper objects. It doesn't matter what the object looks like. Uh, we can make it anything. Here, let's make it an apple. You need to wear the scorekeeper object, or other game objects won't interact. Right-click on the apple and choose Where. If you don't like where it goes, you can play with Attach To and choose something that amuses you. The second component of the game kit is a token. Tokens are objects you pick up to gain strength, experience, or other status points during a game. Here we see tokens in action. In this case, the game creators chose to make tokens from ears of corn. They included educational and informational messages in order to reinforce learning throughout the simulation. Players can acquire tokens either by clicking on them with their mouse or walking into them with their avatar. Tokens are most effective when the messages give clues to gameplay. For educational games, those clues can either guide the player to knowledge or directly inform the You can make any virtual object into a token. Here's how.
Create a default box as before. Right-click on the box and select Edit from the context menu. The Build dialog will appear. Select the Texture tab of the Build dialog and click on the texture to open the Texture Selection dialog. Type Banana in the search field to find the library Banana Texture and select it. In the Build dialog, select the Object tab. Use the drop-down menu to change the object type from a box to a sculpted prim. Click on the rainbow image and again type Banana, but look for the Banana Texture that is for sculpted prims. You'll then see the image of a banana and that your prim has changed shape into a banana. We'll use this as our banana token. Now that we have a prim banana to visualize our token, we need the script that will bring it to life. Move back to the Game Kit folder and select the token sample. Drag the token sample onto the ground to res a copy. In this case, the sample is a coin. Right-click on the coin token and select Edit. Find the Content tab in the Build dialog and locate the token script. As before, drag this script into your inventory to make a copy. Then select the banana. Drag the script from your inventory into the Content tab of the Build dialog for the banana. Close the Build dialog and your banana will now spin and act just like the other token. Now a banana is not a gold doubloon so you probably won't want the default token message. In fact, it's best to customize each token to make the game more interesting. Fortunately, editing the message and even the value of the token is only a couple of clicks away. Right-click the banana and choose Edit. Then, in the Contents tab of the Build dialog, double-click on the script. Inside the script, you'll see two lines at the top, one that sets the value of a token, another that determines its message. It helps a lot to have a really valuable token just for testing, so you don't have to spend a lot of time gathering tokens just to set up your game. When you edit the message, just be certain to stay inside the quotation marks. As you can see, once we click on the new super high value banana token, our score increases by 1,000, the amount we entered in the script, and the message spoken is the message we wrote. The third component of the game kit is a trap. Traps are objects you avoid because they can zap your strength, experience, or other status points during the game. A token increases our status in the game, but a trap reduces that status. We need status in order to access the more advanced puzzle objects. Here, a typical trap aims to reinforce messages about puritanical ideologies, while making the game more challenging for the player. You can make any virtual object into a trap. Here's how. Locate the Game Kit folder in your inventory and then drag Object 3A, the touch trap, onto the ground. Click on the box and you'll see that it acts as a trap, robbing your hard earned tokens. Touch traps react to left mouse clicks. Each time you click one, they will take tokens away. The trick, of course, is luring the player into the trap. Right click on the box and select Edit. The build dialog will appear. Choose the Contents tab of the build dialog and locate the script. Double click on the script in order to edit it. You can customize this script as you did with the token script, 